I'm an inventor because I love science, new science. I love new technology, and I appreciate their traditions of old. But every generation, as that slogan outside the door says, must make their own uh, advances. And I've lived through generations, and uh, at heart, I'm about 18, 19 years old. And uh, what I want to do is to use science and technology for the purposes of what's good for the planet, for the social purposes of eliminating pollution and climate change, gases and wars over oil, and importantly for me, to provide the new kinds of jobs that have significant value. The periodic table, I, that's my working kit, my toolbox, if I can call it that. I, I work with multi, uh, with multi states all the time and prefer them to any single one state. I've made a science out of it. I call it orbital engineering. I call it atomic engineering. Everything I do is based upon that critical thing that I know what to do about putting elements together so then they had their response to each other so that you can get new mechanisms, new phenomena that are physical, chemical, electronic, if you want to keep repeating, physical and structural mechanisms that have never been seen or heard of before. That's what I do. I am not a startup. I don't think anybody 86 would think that they'd even want to start up a company. What I'm doing is my life's work, which is inventing, doing new science, always new science, always new technology. I see patterns and somebody else looks at it, it's just a bunch of maze of this or that. And when I look at that, I see the patterns that I can get and what I can do with them. Doing innovation is wonderful. Making it happen is a struggle, but not a technology struggle. Because I look for, I am fanatic about looking for problems, because I love to be a problem solver. Science has to have values. Human beings are part of civilization. And civilization is the arts and music and those things that advance civilization, the whole world. So you don't have civilization without proper values. You have 
this war, that war, crazy, insane things happening. And that's what science does. That's what civilization does. That's what poetry and Shakespeare and, and acting and singing does. It makes the world worth advancing. An inventor has to be a scientist. I'll give you only two examples. Newton, great physicist, one of the greatest ever, ever. The plague hit Europe. He was going to Cambridge University. And to escape the plague, he, he went as a young man to a farm his folks owned. And he did the greatest physics work of, as a single individual of anybody that's gone until Einstein. In the worst times ever, he was able to come up with the greatest science. Einstein was a patent clerk. He couldn't get the job. 1905, it was a holy year for scientists, 1905. And then, General relativity, which is his greatest, was done during the World War in which he objected to. And yet he did his best work then. This isn't for faint souls. If you're serious about something, you have to have what our group had, dedication, commitment, and continuous learning. Never stop going to your own school. <laughs>